So how much air is actually in ice cream? This is a really fun and easy lab that you can either go crazy with, like we did, and try out all the different ice creams and all the different methods, or literally just look at a pint in the grocery store and be curious about it. So to compare the different ice creams and how much air they had, we chose to measure density. And to do this, we need to measure both mass and volume. So we chose a consistent volume. You could do whatever volume you want, but our scooper was a quarter cup, so that was easy, and we just kept that consistent. And then we weighed out the mass of a quarter cup of each type of ice cream. To do this, just use a digital measuring scale, which we've linked below and highly recommend for any type of baking, science, kitchen activity. From here, you can just calculate the density by taking the mass over the volume and dividing that out and calculating for a final number and comparing those. Now, if this sounds like a lot of work for you, you can literally just look on the Nutrition Facts label because all the volumes are consistent across every ice cream that we've seen so far. They're all two thirds of a cup. And then it'll show you the mass and you can just literally compare the masses of the different ice creams because it's all a consistent volume. So whichever one has the least amount of mass, it's going to be the least dense. To see how air affects texture, there are a couple things you can do. If you want to keep it really simple, you can just look at the ice cream and get qualitative observations, which is just using your senses, like seeing that the ice cream appears a little bit fluffier. If you want to take it one step further, you can try to get quantitative data, which is data using numbers. And the way that we did this was to figure out the amount of force to actually scoop out the ice cream. And to do that, we needed a bathroom scale. Yep, that's right, a bathroom scale. I know it may seem crazy, but you need something that you can apply a good amount of force or weight to, to see how much force is required to scoop out the ice cream. And if you try this on a kitchen scale, it'll break because you're actually going to apply a lot of force. So don't use the kitchen scale, just get out the bathroom scale and be crazy, it's fine. So you're going to put the pint directly on the bathroom scale and basically measure the amount of force for the scooper to be inserted in. And we did do this after the ice cream had been sitting out for about a minute or two, just try to be as consistent as possible while also recognizing that it's ice cream and this isn't meant to be that serious. You can still have fun with it and learn something about it.